The team at Control Risks has formulated a series of four scenarios to describe how we think the COVID-19 pandemic will evolve. These scenarios offer a structured way of looking at the impact of the disease and add order and a framework to an epidemic response that is varying from country to country, region to region, and even city to city. Our first scenario is one that we have already moved past. It's called quick recovery and was predicated on the proliferation of new infections outside of China being geographically limited and relatively quickly contained. Instead, we find ourselves in our second scenario, which we call seasonal pandemic. This scenario is predicated on new cases dropping in China, but on the widespread acceleration of infections outside China. This scenario sees widespread dislocation of supply chains throughout Q2, with the potential for a start of a recovery in late Q2 or early Q3. In this scenario, we think 10 to 15% of global supply chains will be permanently disrupted, though most logistics and transport could be fully reconstituted by Q4. Under this scenario, the security environment remains stable, though law enforcement resources will be strained. Among some of the other assumptions in this scenario, we also see a series of governments around the world coming under significant popular pressure. Our third scenario is called uneven outbreaks, which foresees a two-speed pandemic around the world. Under this scenario, developed markets contain the spread of COVID-19 by June of 2020, but emerging markets, or countries where government and healthcare capacity are limited, struggle to manage the pandemic. Under this scenario, companies will see 20 to 30% of their supply chain capacity compromised. The outbreak will slow only towards the end of Q1 2021. Importantly, under this scenario, we see the security environment weaken in countries hardest hit by the pandemic, with international companies becoming the target of attacks. This scenario also forecasts a significant spike in geopolitical tension and the potential of economic migration. Our final scenario is called prolonged pandemic and assumes widespread distribution of the virus globally as containment measures outside China fail to be sufficiently robust. Under this scenario, 60% of supply chains are disrupted and the global economy enters recession. Protectionism rises as companies, in some cases urged by their governments, attempt to onshore supply chains. The global recession triggers a series of political crises, and as a result, efforts to coordinate a multilateral solution to the pandemic are hobbled. We also see a significant decay in the security environment and the threat of enduring border closures. Control Risks is publishing COVID-19 pandemic information and analysis regularly on our public website and via our subscription services. We also look forward to publishing recovery scenarios in the very near future.